Hi guys, welcome to the Hedwig tutorial to continue our Harry Potter theme. Uh, so we're going to start with a nice big rainbow shape in the top quadrant of your page. Then you want to bring a curved line down for the wing and then a curved line around on the left side for its tummy and then some ruffled feathers for the base of the feet and I'm just ruffling a few more and just down in a big curve at the bottom and putting in some feathers like this. The wings are basically just um, little loops that form the feather tips and then a big curve that links that almost links up to the top of the shoulder wing of the wing at the top. Uh, now we're going for some feet which I actually don't know that the owl's feet look like this but <laughs> in my head they do. They're just like chicken feet which are big curly S's kind of like S shapes and putting in the other few toes behind else have toes? I don't know. And now I think I'm going to move to the eyes. Oh no, that's right. I'm doing the... So I'm making the middle point of the... Um, of where the beak will begin and like the feathers around it. So you're just doing like a frilly kind of shape to make like two semicircles along both sides and that's kind of showing where the feathers are from its face and then just putting an upside down triangle in the middle part to show where the beak is and now for two very slightly curved lines to put in the eyes and that's the eyelids and I'm just colouring in the beak And now putting in very large circles for the eyes. So one around there, match it up on the other side. It's starting to come together, starting to look like an owl. Now put an upside down triangle in the top right hand side and then another circle and colour it in. That'll give you a nice highlight in the pupil of the eye. And they're really large pupils because obviously they're seeing at night and they're trying to get as much light in those pupils as possible. And now it's basically time for all the feathers. And these, there is no rhyme or reason for these. They're just loops, continuous loops or frills. I don't really know what to call them. Upside down McDonald's M's. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'm just linking the linking them together with like the tip of the line will always be in the center of the semicircle if that makes sense. So you can see what I'm doing anyway. I'm just sort of starting the line in the middle of the previous circle beneath it. Oh I know what they are, waves. Like ocean waves, of course. And then I'm just putting a few here and there just to give the idea instead of covering the whole bird in them, which you can do if you feel like it. Um, I just think it's nice just to give a couple of areas some feathers. Ruffled feathers. And I'm just keep doing those waves, which are actually just like how I do scales on a mermaid, funnily enough. If you've tried my mermaid video, if you haven't, please subscribe and check out the other videos. There might be something fun for you to draw. Not quite sure what I'm doing here. Oh, that's right. I was just going to fill in the rest of the wing. I thought I'd finished and then I was, I realized that no, I'm going to 
add in some more feathers because this guy needs lots of feathers. So I just kept going. <laughs> Go to town with feathers, guys. Okay, I hope you guys had an enjoyable tutorial with me. Look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Thank you.